Hello everyone. Um, I just want to give some background on the Roland MT32 and uh, give you a quick guide on how I had it set up with DOSBox. Um, a little background first though. Um, the Roland MT32 is a MIDI synthesizer um, released in 1987 um, by the Roland Corporation in Japan. Um, it, at the time it was a powerful synthesizer, powerful MIDI synthesizer that you could use with your computer and um, it became a, a standard for uh, computer games at the time. Sierra was actually the first uh, computer game company to utilize it and they became their distributors. Um, you, could buy, you could actually buy a Roland MT32 from Sierra back in the late 80s and early 90s and it, um, I mean for a MIDI synthesizer it was pretty cheap but for your average gamer it was kind of expensive it was about two hundred dollars um, so most people didn't buy it especially when their PCs had sound blaster cards in there that could uh, do sound pretty well um, but when you actually compare how good the MT32 sounded compared to the sound blaster and ad lib um, sound that they had at the time um, there really is no comparison the MT32 really was the the best that you could get the best as far as sound that you could get um, as, as you see here the first game to have it was King's Quest 4 um, it wasn't the original version of King's Quest 4 the the original King's Quest 4 was developed on the old AGI engine uh, adventure game inter, um, interface that they developed for the, the early Space Quest and King's Quest games but they did re-release King's Quest 4 with uh, the new engine that they developed, the Sierra Creative Interpreter, um, SCI is what it stood for, in 1988, and that was the first game to utilize the MT32. And from then on, every Sierra game, all the way up until like the mid 90s when they started developing exclusively for Windows, um, was able to use MT32. In fact, I think even after that, they were able to use. I think for the they were they were always developing for MT32, so you really weren't getting the full effect of what they had in, intended in the game unless you were playing on a machine that had an MT32 at the time. Um, they would actually hire professional composers to compose music specifically for the MT32, and um, if you had a sound blaster, you it, uh, sound blaster 16, which is what we had, it could emulate the MT32. Um, but it didn't sound nearly as good. It, it was definitely inferior. So I always wanted to play these games with the MT32. It's kind of been something that, um, you know, that since I was a kid, I, I, was, I was always envious of people that had one and wanted one and wanted to play the game with it. Uh, and the good news is that you can still buy an MT32 and hook it up to your computer, and it will still work. Um, if there are Windows drivers for it. Um, and it will work through DOSBox even, um, but you can also there's also an emulator developed, which doesn't sound quite as good as the real MT32, but it comes close, and it's probably the closest I'm going to get because I don't think I'm willing to to buy an MT32 at this point in my life. But um, I'm sure some people are. Some people, you know, you could definitely check eBay; they still have them out there. Um, this website I'm at is actually where I got the DOSBox build that can run it. Um, it's Tay Wung's website, Tay Wung's page. He he customized DOSBox to work with the MT32. Um, and as you could see in the in the file that I included on this YouTube video, um, I included his build in here in this folder here, 20, 2011, 10, 12. That's when he last updated it. I also made some changes to the CONF file, um, mainly to set it to MT32, right here I, I changed this. Um, I also changed the frame skip just so that I can record it without it lagging, because by default this is zero, but if you're recording Let's Plays you want to put it on two so that it doesn't lag. If you, if you look at my first Let's Play you'll see that it's lagged. Um, again, all these changes are already saved into the file that I'm giving you so you don't have to change them unless you want to change it back. But you might want to change this at the bottom here. Um, I have it set up for mount C, C colon backslash DOS. 
So that means that this that the C drive is going to point to my DOS folder in my in in my C drive. Um, my DOS folder is where I keep all my Sierra games and all the the stuff that I plan on running in DOSBox. So um, you might want to change that if you keep your Sierra games in a different folder or you want to have it set up a different way. Um, so yeah, that's that's the con file. Um, this basically runs. You just extract it, and you can just run DOSBox release, and it should should run right through it. But before you can get the Roland to work, you're going to have to install the um, the emulator, the actual Munt emulator, um, and that's in this folder here. Munt setup. Just double click that, run this application, um, and um, after it's installed, all you have to do is double click this one, PLW MIDI map to actually select the MT32 synth emulator from this list here. Um, by default it's probably going to be this one, White Wave Table Synth. Just make sure you, you select the MT32 synth emulator to get the um, effect that you want and it'll, it'll, DOSBox will know that you're, you, that it will think that you actually have an actual um, MT32 hooked up to your computer when you set that to it. So after you've done that, you can run DOSBox, um, and that's just a shortcut to to the one that I have set up. And just make sure your game is is set up to to use the MT32. So we're gonna try Space Quest 3. Um, install goes into the old-fashioned install procedure and you want to make sure where it says music that the Roland MT32 is uh, is highlighted and that you're using it so we can accept these choices and change configuration um, and let's run SQ3 and see how it sounds One thing about it is it does take a little longer to load when you're using it. See, it sounds definitely a lot better than the ad lib version of this. Back to your Sierra games with the uh, fresh, you know, see them, see them in a fresh new light now that you can.